Okay. Um, I'm going to do my best to do this as shortly as I can, so here we go. Um, I was in San Cristobal. That's up here. If this is a mountain, I'm up here, okay? It's colder than Pella some of the time, but then Pella got colder. This is not going slow. I'll, do, I'll try to do better. Um, when we left San Cristobal up here, we had to go down to Palenque and stay a night there before we went back to Merida over here. So we're here, trying to go here so we can go here the next day. Following me? Okay. So we go down, we're working our way down at San Cristobal. I'm trying to get somewhere with a little bit of light. There we go. So we get like here, about a third of the way down, okay? And we come upon a traffic jam going down this mountain. And we're like, weird. Um, we all got out and we were around for a while because we could, and we walked down and it ended up being a blockade. There was a group in Mexico that was protesting. I don't remember what, or I don't think I ever knew what side they were protesting. What either it was for this new highway or against this new highway, but it was a highway through um, the mountain. So we wouldn't have to go like this down the mountain. We could just go like this, but we can't do that right now. So they were, they were trying, I don't know if they're against it or for it, but it was through a forest. I don't know, but they were, uh, they were protesting that on one side or the other. So about after about an hour and 15 minutes, we were able to go. At this one, there were police, like there's police officers stopped the cars before they got to the barricade. Once we got there, like there was a lot of police there that must have broken it up, got stuff out. The way the barricades work usually are like a tire or some tires, some big like cement blocks or things like that in the road. Like that's how barricades usually work here. And apparently there's a lot of them. I didn't know that. But like it's, rel it's relatively common for protests as a way for them to protest. So we go after an hour and 15 minutes and being there for a while. I know that was redundant. Don't yell at me. Um, but we go and we go for another hour, two hours. Um, so we're like two thirds of the way down the mountain. Actually, we're probably just half the way down the mountain now, just for how long it took after that, but it's beside the point. We come upon another barricade, and this time our drivers got out, uh, Val, our site coordinator got out, and they go and kind of check it out, and we kind of mill around like we did last time. We didn't go as far down, um, but then they come back to the vans, and Val tells us that we need to grab our passports and some money. We're going to go, and we're going to have an experience, and we're going to walk through the barricade, because you can walk through. They just won't let cars through. And we're going to go to the next town um, over, and we're going to eat and wait it out because they don't know how long it's going to be. So we do that. We get all our stuff, and we walk, and we see. This time we see the barricade because we didn't see it the last time, and it's some, you know, some tires and some rocks and stuff, and we were kind of joking around uh, about how it wouldn't stop a whole lot of people. Like, there's, there's not a lot up there. Like, they, we could get through if we wanted to. There's a sign that we walked by, and it wasn't Spanish, so I didn't even try to read it. It was we were going fast anyway, and I would have needed some time to process whatever it said. Uh, but we walk through, and this time there's no there's no cops or anything here, and we we're, we're close to the beginning of it, so we just figure that the cops haven't gotten there yet. We learn later that both of these happened between a group a group left from San Cristobal that we that like Val knew. Um, and then we left at noon and all this happened between those two times because they didn't have any problems. Uh, but so we walk through and we go by that and we're try we we're told to kind of be quiet. So we be quiet and we keep walking down the road. And then we see that the real barricade is two or three trees that are downed into the road, which is not normal. It's a lot more legit and it would, it, it's very good at keeping people from, like, going. Understandably. Uh, so, walk past, this is kind of weird. We get into two of these, uh, like, pickups. They are kind of the taxi-ish services between towns. Um, and they're, like, covered, but then there's, you're, you're in the bed, or you're, there's a couple people are in the cab. And we take these two 
down and we go to this restaurant and then we hear more of the full story at that point which uh amounts to there were seven men that were arrested from this town okay and they were not good guys they were they got arrested for assault and kidnapping and some legit stuff uh so that's not good and our drivers were like yeah they they did that they're bad bad guys they deserve to be arrested but these people from their town decided that that wasn't cool they weren't they were being discriminated against because they were in the from the small village yada 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 that was their view and they were the ones that downed the trees and like made this barricade because their town that the men were from was planning a revenge attack against the town that arrested the men which is legit and not good very bad actually and it's not really a place for a bunch of young adults from Iowa to be. It's not It's not a really good place for anyone to be, but it just didn't seem like a great place for us to be specifically. Bad, you know, any from, from the other town because whew, they're not going to be doing so good if they uh, are successful with this. But our vans and bus drivers are still on the other side of this barricade and we're trying to figure out ways to get through and Val did a very good job of like systematically going through and trying to figure out what to do we got to plan like F because like just things were not going our way um, when the bus drivers had to turn around and go back up the mountain and come down or that's what like they're were told to do and like what they needed to do um, they somehow miraculously found this uh, dirt road with these huge honking like 15 passenger vans and they go down that and they find somewhere and they find some people to like feed them something because they've been you know driving all day and they feed them tamales and not important to the story but that, just trying to give as much information as I can um, and two three when I'll skip ahead a little bit they got tamales okay so we're we get done eating and now we're sitting outside and we do not know what's gonna what's going on what can happen we're all a little bit anxious a little bit because we just we don't know what's happening and this just does not seem like a good place to be st be spending an extended period of time right now especially since we're due and they were we were doing plank a an hour before that and we still have three hours to drive to get back so no matter what it's going to be pretty late when we get where we're going um but val ends up getting a call from our driver saying that they found this way down the mountain on this dirt road and that uh they're actually in town and they're going to be getting us which was really cool uh when they showed up three kids jump out of the van and we're like who are the kids it was the children of uh the people that had sold them tamales these three kids navigated them down the mountain which is pretty cool and not something i could have done when i was three i was not paying that much attention to where i was going but that's that was that was pretty amazing too and we finally we get into our vans and everyone's safe and all our stuff is a little bit brushed around because they were like on a dirt road in these huge vans and they actually might get in trouble for that because they're not supposed to drive on dirt roads in these huge honking vans which is understandable but also i'm very happy they did because it meant that we were able to get where we're going and not be in that situation but at long story short we got uh we were able to get back or get to Planque about three hours later, which is good. Which also made for a very, very interesting uh, day. Day of driving with no, with like two stops planned. And that happened. Was more interesting than anticipated. Uh, but saying one more kind of interesting thing about that is that there were no cops there and there, no, there was no army there. And there's not going to be. They're just going to let whatever happened happen. Which is not a good plan, in my humble opinion. I don't know if I'm allowed to have that opinion, but I do. That seems sketch. Uh, but yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. This is obviously a very long video. If you, I'm happy if you've got it this far. You should comment or like it just specifically because you got this far, and I want to see how many people do. I don't think there's going to be a lot of people. But uh, I look forward to seeing your video tomorrow, Taylor. Uh... Yeah, that's...
that's that's my story of Monday to yeah Monday that was that was my Monday so this is the second video of today that's not even my day but I should be caught up on my videos so I thought that, that this was a story worth sharing I hope you guys think that too um so peace out homies what